Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for September 2022. I hope that this video finds you doing well and basically totally rocking life. So this is a general reading for Cancer. Cross watchers are also welcome. Keep in mind that the roles of the individuals or energies identified in this reading may be swapped and that the intensity of the energy or situation can vary. Take with you whatever messages resonate and leave behind for others whatever does not. We're starting with this Celtic cross tarot reading and closing off with an oracle card message. So Cancer, your present situation, you have the devil. What covers is the four of wands. Above you, you have the five of wands. Below you, you have the two of pentacles. In the past, you have the fool. In the near future, you have the ten of cups. Your attitude of the situation, you have the world card. In your environment, you have the ace of wands. In your hopes and fears, you have the two of wands. And the outcome, you have the ten of wands. So I am just taking stock of what is not here. What is not showing up are swords the card of the intellect communications okay so cancer with devil being in your current situation it could be that there is a feeling of being you know suppressed uh, a feeling of um being dominated um and it could be also a uh, you know, possibility of you know, repeated patterns um, and you know, illusions, being tempted by illusions that are, you know, provide maybe instant relief, instant gratification, um, but they're not sustainable in the long term. And with the Four of Wands, this is a card of uh, like a foundation, um, a connection to, to others where together you kind of build, build a future worth celebrating. It's also for um, uh, recognition of milestones being achieved. It could be you know, moving to a, a new location, um, getting a new job. Um, it's a sense of, a sense of a foundation and stability, but also a sense of, of freedom, kind of going through, um, like a, like a rite of passage. If you go through those, those poles there, it's like, uh, like a threshold, similar to the two of wands. It's like two people bringing their two wands together and then kind of um, like, like focusing and planning on where they can go. So here with the fool being in your past position, um, it may be that there was some type of, you know, new new opportunity, like maybe you did move to a new location. It's a sense of really um, taking a leap of faith, being excited about some, some new opportunity. And, but, you know, what you have above you in the conscious mind, you have the five of wands. And it's a sense of like chaos, conflict, um, and, you know, possibly just um you know growing pains just or people just doing things in a way that they feel is best for them without really communicating um 
what their goals are, their priorities, uh, and, you know, with swords not being out here, uh, swords is a card of, or a suit of communication. So below you with the two of pentacles, it's a sense that you are just trying to figure things out. Like you're just, you know, like um, throwing things out, see what sticks, um, trying to get a feel for whatever this, you know, new environment is. With your attitude of the situation being the world, it's a sense of, you know, this should be a really exciting time, a sense of like, well, here's also like a, like a rite of passage, a threshold, just, you know, a rebirth. It's a, a sense of this is supposed to be like an amazing opportunity, amazing time, and you're feeling like, you know, either tied down, worn down, restricted, um, if, or that you've given your power to somebody. In your environment with the Ace of Wands, this is the like external factors influencing you. So there is this, you know, maybe energy around you. Maybe you're getting like a lot of accolades for whatever this four of wands situation and the full situation is, um, a sense of acknowledgement that there is an opportunity that um, you have been provided where there should be an excitement, uh, a drive, something, you know, like a new spark of life for you. Um, because of all the different wands, it, it may be related to, to like a, a move or a living situation. Um, you know, for some of you, it could be marriage um, with the, the four of wands indicating um, a marriage and then uh, with the fool and the world, it's a sense of um, new beginnings, completion of of uh, like journeys. So it could be from single life to um, committed life, and then kind of you know figuring that out. Um, and with the Ace of Wands, it's it's almost like a, a new life together. And then you have the Ten of Cups. Uh, that's a sense of, you know, this is in your, your near future. It is a sense of happiness, um, being with the people that you care about and feeling that support um, and love. In your hopes and fears, you do have this two of wands. So cancer for some of you, it's a sense of like, you know, here you have these two four of wands, uh, sorry, these two two of wands making four of wands, and then you have this two of wands as if you have gone back to planning your future on your own, relying on yourself. So, you know, perhaps this is a, a situation like you moved in with a friend, like roommates. Um, and it's kind of, you know, there's just conflict and now it's like, well, now I have to plan on my own. Um, but you know, the 10 of cups is in the near future. So, you know, the 10 of cups isn't about just being happy. It's about experiencing all the different range of emotions that there are in this rainbow and, Having that experience shared with the people that you care about, that you love, that love you, um, a sense of connection and support uh, for each of you going through these, these uh, different emotions. With the outcome being the Ten of Wands, it is a sense that you are still going to be doing things on your own taking on the heavy load, burden, responsibilities. So Cancer, let's, let's take a look at these cards by clarifying them with Chubby Bun. 
tarot cards. So let's take a look at this full situation in your past, Cancer. You have Ten of Cups. So whatever this situation was, it seems that, you know, your friends, your family, people that care about you were, you know, really excited for you and um, supporting you. Let's take a look at the devil in the current situation. You have the Ace of Cups. And this is like a, a sense of, you know, a new, um, like a gift from spirit, um, of happiness, of joy, something that really kind of was for you to really cherish and somehow it has kind of revealed itself to be something that um, you either don't want and have to have or something that you need to do to kind of um, to actually, you know, feel like this is something we're celebrating. And I guess what I mean by that is um, it's a it's a sense of like you know here the fool is totally open heart open mind four of wands this is really a a connection here um, and with the ace of cups it's what you would expect the ten of cups the ace of cups it's what you would expect but you know, to some degree, it could be that you are not really involved in this, feeling this, um, you know, like being moody about it or um, like allowing certain tendencies that you have to kind of like really mess up the party. Um, and I guess, you know, what I'm kind of getting the, the image of is someone who is, you know, at their own party, um, supposed to be like, let's say, celebrating their retirement. And they spend the entire party cleaning up after people as they go, you know, serving them. Um, if there's a mess, rushing over and cleaning it up. Um, taking out the garbage, like really doing all these different things that need to be done as opposed to really just being in that moment. So let's see what the five of wands are in your conscious mind. You have the knight of pentacles. It's, it's a, a sense of focusing on the future, what needs to get done, what responsibilities there are. Um, and, you know, the, the Knight of Pentacles, that's a very reliable, responsible, hardworking kind of energy. Um, and it could be that you're, again, that, that concept of seeing everything that needs to be done, all the problems that, not problems, all the things you want to do or need to accomplish. Um, what's interesting is we still haven't had any swords come up with, which has to do with actually, um, you know, you've got a lot of emotions, a lot of passion going on here, um, conflicting passions. Um, and you have a lot of, you know, planning, negotiating going on with all those passions and emotions. Um, but in terms of like the thought process, the communication, um, hasn't yet revealed itself. So let's take a look at the two of pentacles. You have the seven of wands. So with the seven of wands, it's a, it's a sense of, um, oh, I still need to clarify that, uh, four of wands. It's a sense of really standing your ground, feeling like that you need to um, like hold your line or you're going to fall off this edge because others are pushing you. 
And it could be that, you know, you're pushing yourself, that you are trying to do all these things to get a sense of balance, to get a sense of a real grasp of your, your environment. So let's take a look at the Four of Wands. You have three of cups. So that's uh, a sense of celebrating, friendships, parties, connections. So you've got like a lot of cups, a lot of happiness, a lot of people in your environment that are happy. Um, and for you, there's this like, you know, this stoic kind of look, this, this look right here on this, this chubby bun face is just like, um, it's not quite anxiety, it's determination. So let's take a look at this world card. You know, maybe it's like you feel like you need to complete something, like just that one last thing that needs to be done before I actually enjoy this moment. Um, so you have the world card. Okay. So your attitude is, is very much, um, stuck on this, like, it's almost like an ideal way that you envision, um, success, uh, and, or celebrating. Um, it's, it's, it's almost, um, that you imagine this and it has to be maybe perfect or it needs to fit with what you envision uh, to really feel real. So let's take a look at the Ace of Wands in your environment. You have the tower. So it's a sense where, you know, again, the environment are, um, is outside of you. It's external factors that influence you. Um, so it may be that, um, you know, you are seeing others really embracing something. And it could be because, you know, um, the way that you, your belief of how they are embracing a new opportunity, starting their adventure, what it, maybe, you know, whatever this full situation is for you, seeing others doing that and kind of having a, an, like a vision or an understanding or belief of what that stems from. And with this tower, it's a sense of really it's, um, it may have to come about because people had a certain um, you know, way, routine, um, belief that really it wasn't, it wasn't serving them. It was, you know, somehow associated with the devil or ego, um, made things easier, made it, you know, so that they were more protected and divine intervention comes in and just it's like, nope, that's not going to happen. And you see what you see is them making a fresh start or taking these opportunities in the way you envision it is more of this like luck, this grand offering when maybe behind the scenes they had to do some, you know, messy cleanup. So let's take a look at the two of wands that is in your hopes and fears. You have the four of swords. So to some degree, you know, um, maybe just taking some time out. Uh, just to clear your mind will allow you to really focus on what's important to you or if this is your fear kind of being alone and having to like plan for something different to um 
you know, secretly have this great opportunity, but really fear the potential of it, um, then, then taking some, some time to like, you know, meditate, to clear your mind, to kind of calm, calm yourself. Um, and it, interestingly, this is like the first set of swords that comes out and it's the, it's the card of like, just stop thinking, <laughs> stop talking, withdraw from like, withdraw from everything here. Um, it, it may be for some of you that you are so like integrated with the people around you that doing something for yourself on your own, stepping outside of your comfort zone where there's not someone else there to kind of tell you that you're doing the right thing it is something that's scary for you and like um you know just maybe take some time for yourself voluntarily you know um go go for a nap somewhere if you can take a vacation take the weekend by yourself and just kind of see what is it that you are uncomfortable with but here in the near future with the Ten of Cups, it seems that you're still like surrounded by people that care. And you have the Two of Pentacles again. So, you know, to some degree, there may be this need for you to kind of really ensure that the people around you are happy. You know, this, this kind of balancing is, is kind of... Um, really giving what you have this ace of cups here and it's an offer for you um, maybe you feel like you can't accept it unless it's something that benefits everyone else um but here with the ten of wands it's a sense that you are taking on some type of load you have eight of swords and this is a card of feeling isolated and restricted. Um, and again, the <laughs> wondering where all the, the swords are, here you go. The swords, it could be the way that you communicate with yourself, the way that you, you talk to yourself um, or problem solve is that you can't it's a sense of you can't do things on your own because if you do things on your own, you will be total like everyone will forget about you. You will be isolated. Maybe this card is like, you know, people will think that you died, like, you know, you'd be forgotten and doing something on your own. Um, you feel like, Again, this person here, or this chubby bun here, is isolated, alone, or they feel that they are um, because of how they think about something. And it's a sense of this person doesn't even want to ask for help with a Ten of Wands. It's, it's a sense of they are going to keep going with, um, you know, not even seeing. And in the Eight of Swords, this chubby bun has a blindfold on and this individual has wands to block their view so to some degree uh cancer it kind of seems like you do a lot um you do a lot to make others feel good to feel happy um and to some degree, it, it's your own um, your own discomfort, your own sense, your own stress about a situation. It's it's as if you'd rather deal with that um, and kind of do the hard work yourself and allow everyone else to enjoy the good things. So, great thing about tarot cards, you get to see the you know potential and you get to make the choices if you want to make changes so i'm going to close off with an oracle card with a message from the universe you have it safe 
and surrounded by love. Keep your heart open and know you are being protected. Listen to what you know is true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. So here you have these, these dolphins that like just they're surrounded by other dolphins. They like to play in the water with the emotions and um, they watch out for each other. And so to some degree, allowing all these people that care about you to kind of help you out and watch out for you and see that you have a lot of, of support you have a lot of people that care about you. You have the opportunity to receive this love, to kind of really um, not be afraid that things are going to be ruined or you're going to be alone or, you know, forgotten. Um, and it's, it's, you don't need to be needed. There's people that care about you and you are, you're not there to, guarantee other people's happiness, you being happy, you enjoying your life and spending your time with others that care about you is really, um, you know, what they're looking for. They're not looking for you to ensure their 24-7 happiness and to put your life on, on hold or your happiness on hold to make it so that they are happy. So I'm hoping this provides a helpful perspective of your month. To uncover more about your September, check out readings for each of your sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time. Take care.